Orem police are determined to find the bodies of a woman and her young son who went missing four years ago. This coming a day after their killer confessed to the murders in court. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen joins us live from the Orem Police Department with how investigators got to this point. Rosie? Rick, prosecutors say it took years for them to gather evidence and put together a strong case against Christopher Polson to get him to confess. They say he doesn't remember exactly where his girlfriend and her son's bodies are, but they're hoping with the fragments of his memory, investigators will be able to locate their remains soon. How do you plead to uh, murder? Guilty. And how do you plead to the charge of manslaughter? Guilty. A big milestone for the Utah County Attorney's Office after four years since the disappearance of 23-year-old Emily Quijano and her son, Gabriel Almiron. It's been a very emotional case. It's one that uh, we have known from very early on that there was something wrong. Uh, we never thought that she had just run off. Investigators say Quijano's boyfriend, 30-year-old Christopher Polson, caused serious injuries to Gabriel while he was using meth and alcohol on September 8, 2015. After baby Gabe died the next morning, they say Polson panicked and fatally shot Quijano. Prosecutors say it was thanks to their strong case and evidence against Polson that he finally confessed and accepted a plea deal on Tuesday. He just really didn't have any wiggle room and that if we went to trial, he was going to be convicted, which is what led to this plea. Quijano's family say they're grateful for all of the detective work put in by investigators. While it took years to get to this point, they say they hold no animosity towards Polson. We are grateful for his confession and his willingness to help in the recovery of Emily and Gabe's remains. We want him to do what is necessary to obtain forgiveness and peace from God. Police say the next step is to bring Quijano and her son's remains home, but it's going to take some time since Polson has not been able to take them to the exact location. I don't think he was maybe in the right state of mind to even remember uh, exactly where he might have disposed of them and so that's kind of a hurdle we're trying to jump right now is he remembers parts of things and not not the entirety of this situation. Police say at this time they're not ready to show the approximate location of the bodies. All they can tell me at this time is that it's likely a desolate area right outside of Utah County. If they can't locate the remains themselves, they'll ask for help from volunteers and the public. Reporting live in Orem, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.